Here we're back. All right, so we're back at it. This is Thursday. The other video was Sunday, so things are moving quickly. The uh, We're just pulling the nose off. We had fixed the hood. The hood had a fitment issue where it had a hump here, and it was flat here. And I should have made a video of fixing the hood because it would have been pretty entertaining. <laughs> and I didn't really want to dent it all up. I didn't want to pack it with a hammer. I couldn't seem to flex it on the car. So we flexed it on the ground, putting a block of wood under the area we wanted to lift and stepping on the edge kind of carefully so we didn't crease the skin. And actually it turned out quite well and, and I don't think we did any damage, which was a miracle, but it looked crude as hell. It would have been a video to make everybody complain. <laughs> and then we cut the quarter panel off and reset the new panel. So we tried to line everything up. And everything is sheet metal screwed in place, and that is just, it gives me a lineup point to put everything back. So, you know, we have our door. You have something on the door? Yeah, there's a, the little oh, okay. door jam thing I unscrewed. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a, uh, we have the door gaps lined up, and everything kind of working. The inner, well, the outer wheelhouse panel is in place, and that's screwed in a couple places where the everything the fuel neck goes through the inner the inner fender and the quarter panel so all that lines up gaps up here pretty nice everything was, everything was you know, nothing is welded yet what's going to happen is we're going to pull these off and sandblast everything behind it uh, paint everything in there then we'll weld them on the trunk had the trunk lid didn't fit well at all before now all this is lining up pretty nicely here Going over this corner is a real bitch. This this panel doesn't want to it, it doesn't want to allow itself to come down far enough. Mm. So we had to trim in here a little bit. There's a little too much metal in here. So we trim some of that, work that edge out a little bit, and then work it down over nice and tight and get it pulled down to where these lines meet and all this fits tight. But that actually worked out pretty good. Turned out the uh the drop downs are garbage. So I actually ordered new ones. So you spent more okay. <laughs> And this rear rail. Yeah. The more I look at it, the less I like it. So I ordered one. Oh, you can get that? Yeah, it's a couple weeks out, but. Okay. Oh, oh, I, it doesn't stop me from doing anything. Yeah. And then this side. And you know here, right? Like, like there's chrome for this, right? So yeah. it can kind of yeah, like. That helps a lot. We can hide that edge. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what it's meant for. That's why there's chrome there. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this line here is, I mean. It's good here, it's good here. This is just made a bit wrong on this quarter. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna end up making a cut here and I'll bring it up to about here. I'll bring this in and I'll, I'll just widen this gap here. And I'll probably end up welding a little bit of wire up here and narrow the gap just a hair up there. Mm -hmm. There's really not much choice. This was, I'm not sure what went on here. This, this was either made, well, this was made a little longer, a little wider here than the other quarter. So it rode up on this uh, C-pillar. But you can see from the factory where they bronze welded both sides of the C-pillar. So maybe the C-pillar is not exactly in the right place. <laughs> Which is, it, it, that stuff happens. Yeah. You know? And this door gap is pretty good now. Everything's nice. Okay. So the door is actually tweaked out, which it was with the old quarter. So I'm going to have to loosen the lower hinge and rotate that in just a bit. Okay. But that'll be nice. So then, yeah, so get our panel fitment where we want it now. So now once the engine's out, we'll uh, pull the quarters back off. And like I say, they're real easy to put back because I've got screws. So just yeah. everything will go right back in line. Pull the quarters back off. We'll sandblast in behind all that. Probably sandblast the trunk floor. I would, you must want the body floor sandblast yeah, in here. Yeah. Blast that. We're going to blast everything under the hood. Get everything nice and clean, pretty. That's, uh, it actually, we, we painted it with a rattle can. We put the motor in it. It's actually held up quite well. Yeah. But, um, that, that needs to, that needs to get painted with something better than the rattle can, is what it needs. Yeah. At the end of the day. So we're going to do that. And the other thing is, those headlight buckets are bad. They, oh, are they? Yeah. Yeah, the uh, these things are. I have to look. Order some of these. Okay. This one is not terrible. It's just started. 
This one's this one is dog food. Oh yeah. So I think uh, I'll add a add a pair of those. Yeah. And we should order the bumper brackets. Okay. At the same time. Yeah. And that pretty much is any sheet metal that was remotely bad is done. You see your old quarter panel? Yeah, that's what uh you were texting me about earlier. Yeah. I mean, this, I think, is the... Oh, that's the bad one. I, I cut you on... I cut this side off. I cut it kind of clean and kept you a wall hanger. I didn't know if you ever wanted one, but some guys like that. Yeah, that's cool. But you can see on the back side, these were in. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, you see, I didn't tell you to buy quarters for nothing. <laughs> And it's uh I kind of knows what I'm talking about. So what's this big? This is a big gash that they welded, and then this. You talking about this? Yeah. No, that's just that's a, actually a glue mark from the factory. Oh, okay. There's a thing in there that they they put some kind of foam stuff on. This is a, somebody drilled it full of holes to hold bondo, which is a stupid idea. But wait a second, what am I looking at here? Okay, no, that's the that's going to the back there. Yeah, okay. that's right right hand quarter panel, so. Oh, so this is all covered up. This is all rusted. And That's all rust. Yeah. That was all covered. See? Oh. On the outside. Okay, so somebody just covered. That's why it was all cracking and. Yeah. 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 yeah like all that was cracking up through here is like gone. And somebody had patched this. This is wrong. Yeah. This is garbage. It, uh, yeah. There we go. At the. Uh, you know, we're not doing it for no reason. Those quarters <laughs> are not the nicest quarters I've ever put on, but they're pretty good. Okay. They got a good look. The lines aren't as crisp on them as some, you know, like I say, that fitment by the trunk. And that, that fitment issue by the trunk is not super uncommon. I've had a few of those through the years where one side or the other I have to. Well, you have these compound compound bends, right? Mm -hmm. You're going straight, then around the trunk. Yeah. Like those are always like hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Billy's fifty-five Chevy, I had to redo the upper over the tail light. Okay. There was just no way that was going to fit that tail light perfectly. Yeah. So I ended up just took the shrinker structure and made a cap. You know, and everything fit nice. But that's you, almost all of them. I'll have some little thing I have to do. Uh, along the side of that trunk was kind of no big deal. I'm not. I'm not losing any sleep over it. I expected it somewhere. Fortunately, everything fits pretty nice by the doors and everything, and, and you know the bulk of it is actually very close. And they're they're not real crooked. You run your hand over them, there's no big hoopty doos, so that's yeah. that's kind of a help because otherwise, it sucks the board sand. You know, like get a car straight, most of the time you cover the whole thing and fill the board sand. It, and I don't really want to do that if I don't have to for damn sure. And this one, then this one. It's all checking out. Just a little more rust in the back than I thought. The, the, the quarters are actually worse than I thought. The drop down, this drop down was just a little bit bad. And I was going to, I was going to deal with it. But the other side was just dog food. Yeah. So. I think we sort of saw it when we, when we put in the suspension and everything too. Yeah, we may have, but I forgot. I should have ordered them. I, I, yeah. I normally do with quarters. And I, I don't know why I didn't. But they had them in gold. They had them. I called Golden Leaf. They were taking them off the truck. <laughs> there you go it showed them they were going to have them the ninth, and I said you call me <laughs> I, I, I said hey uh, are, are you going to have them for real they said yeah the truck's backed up to the dock right now and I got my shipment confirmation today you know, <laughs> so, so that was that was good but then the rear rail they didn't have it Restoration World did well they had it in the book yeah and but they they said they had one on order and I said can you find out if it's in stock or terminal back order or what it is and he said not really our usual place. He said, I've got another supplier that they say they have one. So he said, I'll order that one too. He said, we're gonna get, we'll get you one, you know. Somehow, somewhere. Yeah, one or the other. So that we'll, Great. We'll, we'll have one. So then I'll weld everything up. I just won't attach this here. Yeah. And, you know, kind of no big deal after. Because that spot welds up to the edge of the trunk floor here. Yeah. So, and I'll cut this end off because it's kind of, you know, where the trunk floor is bad. Oh, and I, so I won't do. Oh, yeah. I was gonna do this patch before I did the, uh, before I did you know before I welded the quarters on. Yeah. But I'm not gonna now because this piece has kind of a you know well curvature in here and stuff. So I'll wait to get the new rear rail. 
Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'll cut this all out before we weld it. So that much will be done. I'll leave the center in place just to hold everything up and keep everything square. Yeah. While I weld. And that's uh, that's about it. There's a shot of the mini tubs that we put two years ago now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And this here too, I'm going to have to do. Actually, I think. I mean, we could glue the rubber on it and maybe not see it, but I'm. This is just plain not made. You see how the square that is right there? Yeah. See how this is just kind of round and then it almost runs out of metal air. It does run out of metal air. Oof. So I think I'll cut, I'll just cut it off down here. It'll you know, bend a new piece. Just to get the, get the rubber in there properly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, just, it'll just look better too, you know? Yeah. And then, because uh, you do see that metal edge a little bit. So then I'll do that and I'll just, I'll take the shrinker, or the structure in this case, and I'll, I'll just make that arch and uh, make a nice fitting piece there because there was no way this was going to work number one and i wasn't going to try to mess up everything else to make it work but I, but I'm, it's missing metal i mean it's literally missing metal so. yeah well uh, that's why i say they're not a lot of these i get are, are made way more fussy than these uh these, these ones are a couple little things like that that just kind of make me you know yeah um but I'd way rather deal with this than what we had. Yeah. Way rather. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. So what do you think? What's the estimate on ripping out the engine? Think we do it one night? The engine? We can do it one night, but probably not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I may just make John do it tomorrow. I got four beers saying we can do it tonight. Yeah. Uh, I think the time you get done with that interior, I think we're going to work <laughs> on getting the windshield out of it and you're going to get that dash out of it. Okay. I'll start pulling parts off the engine. Okay. But then I'm going to have to jack it up and get under it and loosen a bunch of stuff. And you're going to be doing dash and we'll be in each other's way. So I'll try and get the upper, the front end stuff okay. ready to pull. Yeah. And then uh, and then you can work on the dash and get that out. Get all, well, you can't take the actual dash out. It's steel welded in the car, but you can take all the components off. Yeah. And then, um, so that, that's done. And we can probably finish stripping the wiring out of it. Uh, oh yeah. That, that, you know, once the dash is out, the wiring can go. Yeah. So that part's done, and then uh, we'll just have a little bit of engine pull work left to do. Okay. So won't be bad. Great. Should be ready to rock. 